I'm Gab. He's Don. Hey. Uh, Jewel's still away in uh, in Australia at the Women, Women's World Cup. Blue skies over West London. Not sure what the skies are like over North London because mm-hmm. this is breaking news as we record this uh, uh, this this Gab and Jewel show. Don uh, Spurs have accepted Ooh. a bid from Bayern Munich. Uh, reports say that the bid is in excess of a hundred million. Or early reports that Bayern were preparing a bid that could be worth up to a hundred and ten million. These wow. are euros now, yeah. not, not pounds, um, from what we understand. Wow. Uh, we knew it was going to happen at some point mm-hmm. that Levy was going to accept. Now it seems to me like it's down to Harry Kane. It's always been down to Harry Kane. This is this 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 is obviously breaking news, and it's well, sorry, no, it's not always been down to Harry Kane. It because has. He didn't go to Man City, did he? It has always been down to the player because they can accept a hundred million pound if they want Tottenham, and Harry Kane can say, "No, I am not going. Thank you very much." Therefore, it's always down to the player. Put differently, though, it's a two-way street because if Harry Kane wants to leave and but Harry Tottenham Kane don't not. accept don't accept the offer, then Harry Kane has to stay. Okay, right? well, let's meet somewhere not in the middle. <laughs> I would say it's eighty percent in Harry Kane's favour to twenty into Tottenham's because a hundred million pound that they've accepted has obviously shifted the needle. Because I never thought this was going to be the move for Harry Kane. It's obviously the move for Tottenham because they need to get in as much money as possible before you lose them on a free. So from Daniel Levy and the club's point of view, and also not selling to an English club, makes absolute sense. You get top dollar from Bayern Munich for Harry Kane, but now it's on the player. How much do you want to go to Bayern? Or how much do you want to see your contract run run down to a free and bring Bayern, Barca, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, all to the table next summer? But this, this news has obviously shifted it a bit. Now, we obviously don't know what Harry Kane's stance. I mean, we are literally recording this in real time. News mm. that the offer has been accepted. Normally, what happens in these situations is the club, the the buying club, reach some sort of informal agreement um, with the player yeah. and his and his entourage, saying like, "Hey, if we can do a deal with with Spurs, if we were to offer you four years, blah blah blah, at this much, would you be interested?" Yes. And the reason they do Which this used to be called tapping up back. Used in the to day. be illegal because of stupid rules never made been by illegal. stupid people. I've had that phone call a million times. I don't know, because, but you know, because you know, the, the, the bid never goes in. Of course, when you've had the conversation course. with the player, and the player gives it, you an indication, yeah, if it's accepted, yes, I would come, or no, I wouldn't, and then the bid doesn't go right. in because otherwise they're not going to waste their time. That's what I mean, right? Um, but it was technically illegal, and there were teams that have been reported and even punished uh, for it tapping up as it's known in this country, tampering as it's known across the pond. Um, so if Bayern go through with this, yeah. I is it safe to assume that they have spoken to Harry Kane, his family members, Allegedly. and Harry Kane? Well, I mean, no, I, 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 would, I, would imagine, I would imagine so. My, 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 and he's agreed in principle. Yeah. It's, I, I listen, I, I would imagine the conversation has been something like from Bayern to Harry Kane's camp, if we submit the bid and it's accepted, would you then come? And Harry right. Kane at some point, I would imagine, or his camp has said, yes, we would be open to the idea. So therefore the bid goes in and then they start talking the money. I, I think it's more than open to the idea for Bayern to move. Now this, I'm speculating here, but just from what I know of how transfers work, if they continue to pursue this bid so aggressively, mm. it's more than, oh yeah, then we can have a conversation if Levy accepts the bid. Yeah, I think... Because they'd be doing Kane a disservice, they'd be doing Spurs a disservice, they'd be wasting Bayern's time. Yeah, I think it would have gone further. I think it would have said, "Okay, what sort of numbers are we talking? What is the plan for next season?" Where, where Bayern, I think, has been really poor in this is I think their stance on trying to negotiate has been really poor. Because this time last week, when they put a lesser bid in, they said that's our final offer. Well, it's not your final offer because you've just come back in and offered a hundred. Yeah, but anybody so then negotiations a house or a car like no, no, you don't say final offer. It makes you look a little bit silly because right. therefore whatever bid you come in, Tottenham can say, well, it's not really a final right. offer, is it? So your so negotiating skills have been a Bayern bit Bayern could care less if one Don Hutchinson think they look silly <laughs> if they end up with Well, Harry don't say Kane. it's your final offer then. <laughs> but um, so are we relatively confident that Kane has... I am not, Gab. I am not because I've always maintained this, this, my stance from the player's point of view that I wouldn't rush into a move now so you would move as a free agent. That would be the rational That's thing what I do. would do because you can have the conversation. Listen, it's one of them where I think Bayern Munich's best chance of getting Harry Kane is this window. 
Because if you leave it another 12 months, and as I said, you bring Barca, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Man United, Man City all to the mm. table. Enough with the Barca, please. But Okay, yeah. but Bayern are not in the <laughs> yeah, conversation okay. then. Because English players, from what, I've, from what I've known over my 30, 40 years spending time in the game over here, when they think about moving abroad, Barca and Real Madrid are the two biggest clubs that they think about going to. I right. can't think about I can't think of many English players, Gab. Who say that, they dream of playing for No, no, who have actually moved to Bayern over yeah. the last 30, 40 years. Musiala is different, he's now German. Yeah. I think there's one young boy that was at Chelsea that's now at Bayern. The name escapes me. But if you yeah. look back at 2030. Huh? That's Musiala. No, no, there was another boy, I think, who went right. from Chelsea. Um, but I think oh, if yeah. you look at the last 30, 40 years, no one's went from English player to Bayern. So it's not a massive draw for them. Now, people point out that Kevin Keegan went to Hamburg and did rather well out of it. But of course, it's that was in the Bayern. 1970s it's and Bayern. it's not Bayern. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're dating ourselves when we bring that up. Uh, we're going to get into this more. Also, wondering about how we might fit into the Bayern system uh, under Tommy T uh, on the Gavin Jules podcast. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.